Hello folks, it's Kent from BC Renovation Magazine and I'm here today to give you an update on the abandoned mobile home that we uh, purchased uh, a couple months ago. So actually we, we, uh, we've purchased it but we haven't closed on this and I'll explain that to you a little bit further in the video here. But uh, I posted that video a couple months ago. Um, just showing you kind of the uh, walkthrough of you know what it was and uh, today we're going to update that video and show you where we're at today this two months later so this is the location here it's the middle of November here in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia Canada and so this is our location so uh, this one is sitting on a corner lot I'm gonna give you a little walk around here and then I'm gonna take you inside um, and uh, across the street here, we got this creek, the green area. And this is a uh, dead end street. There's a little cul de sac down there. And uh, the thumbnail busted. Uh, that's not clickbait, folks. Uh, back in that video a couple months ago, I uh, told you about a squatter that we were having some problems with here and uh, we got her and I'll tell you a little bit about that. Stick with me here through this video and uh, I'll tell you the story of what happened with her. But uh, I'm just going to give you a walk around here the outside. Yeah, so you can see we uh, got rid of all of the, the trash. This carport here was, you know, this full of stuff uh, as was the deck. There was an old couch up here and uh, we have quite a few vagrants around here and you know they had discovered this place that was uh it was uh, abandoned and so they kind of some of them took up refuge here and there was an old couch here and they were sleeping on that couch undercover here um, so yeah we we've dealt with several of them but like i say the uh the one that was giving us the most problem was that squatter and uh yeah we we uh took care of her I'm going to tell you what we did to get rid of her. So anyway, just want to show you here how we've cleaned things up. Um, started to work on the yard here, but the weather hasn't cooperated with us. And uh, so I started, you know, delimbing some trees here and just cleaning up some of the brush. Uh, but that's going to wait now till spring. So last video I'll show you inside this little workshop building here. Uh, that building is completely empty now. Um, I have it all secured so you can't get in there without a lot of effort. So there's really nothing to show you in there. It's all empty now. Uh, just give you a look back this way. Oh, this is cleaned up in here. So we had, uh, we brought in a 20 yard dumpster and we took out 5,100 pounds of stuff out of this place uh, you know the old household goods that were here and such things like that uh, on top of that we took out uh, another what was it we took out three of my uh, four-way utility trailer load of uh, loads of uh, metal that we took to recycling and recycle all that so there was you know, old appliances and stuff that we got rid of here um, then it was old paint, cardboard, uh, electronics, that stuff all goes to a different place, a uh, load of tires, and, uh, you know, got rid of all of that. I think it was about, uh, four or five loads altogether that we took besides the dumpster. And so this little area here, you can see we got this all cleaned out. This was just jam full of stuff. And so, a, uh, this little back area we started cleaning up here. We got one load of yard waste out before, you know, before uh, the snow came. But what we discovered, underneath, you know, years and years and years of leaf litter, um, underneath here, I don't know if I show you or not, but there's actually, this is a, a paved, a paved uh, patio underneath here. I don't know if you can see the... Those are the Unistone uh, bricks. So this entire area here has those those bricks. And so we'll be uh, reclaiming these and putting them in a patio someplace else. 
Um, this this shed here and lean-to thing on the side of it uh, is going to come off, uh, come down. Um, it's the floor in it is is rotten, and it was built up against this this bank. You can see this bank here. And I'll try and stick the camera around the corner here. Uh, let you see what's going on back here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but that wall uh, is pushed in. And so this bank is coming down and pushing on the back of the wall. So unfortunately that little workshop is going to have to come down because it's just not, it's just not good. Well, I'll just take you around here. So down the side here, again, you see here we have a bank. And we have this uh, really nice Allen block wall here, all along. Comes back and around the corner here. So uh, we're going to be uh, reclaiming that. This is all work that's going to get done now in the spring. We're, we're done outside here for the winter. Um, just take you down here. Okay, I'm walking beside. This is an addition here. And so here. You can see, uh, here's the addition. So this addition um, is going to come off. We're not going to replace this. We're going to take this back to the original single wide unit. Uh, I don't like the way this, you can see how this bank is piled up against the wall here. Uh, the floor in that addition is pretty, uh, pretty rotten. Um, and then you know it's got this crazy shed roof. I hate these shed roofs. Uh, you know, it just it just comes down like this, and there's no slope on that. Um, you know, they're just uh, recipes for disaster when you do it like that. I'll explain a little bit more about that when I get inside. Yeah, this little bay window here. You can see it's kind of rotten around the bottom here. It's leaning. That's not an original window that was put in afterwards. I'm sure somebody did a pretty big. Uh, the renovation here, uh, you know, back in the day, and did the addition, they did the carport and the patio or the deck, I mean, and uh, you know, built that shed back there. Workshop, okay. So, I'll take you inside. So, two months ago, I told you about this squatter that was here, and uh. She's been hanging around and she uh, you know, broke in. She was staying here on and off, back and forth. You know, she was uh, starting to pilfer stuff out of here. Uh, you know, she uh, stole a bunch of uh, things out of here, you know, which basically, I mean, I'm not to worry about that because, you know, we had to get rid of it anyways. There really wasn't anything of value. But uh, we installed a, uh, or set up a uh, electronic surveillance system here and so we, we protect our projects with uh, electronic uh, devices and anyway uh, one Saturday night about a month ago uh, I was sitting at home and by the fire and my phone I got a no notification on my phone that uh, there was an intruder and so I can see it's a, this is a monitored system so I can see on my phone what's going on and so I, I saw her trying to break in so I immediately called uh, 911 and uh, told them uh, you know break and enter process uh, within five minutes they had an officer on scene and they arrested her and uh, she had an accomplice accomplice was arrested as well and so she's been charged and uh, now she will have to go to court. Um, we haven't seen her since and she hasn't been back. Uh, that being said, we have uh, a couple of other vagrants that I don't know if they're connected to her or not that uh, you know, have been coming around here. And uh, you know, we've been, been running them off as well. So you know, as soon as we get a notification, I mean, we're here. Uh, we're pretty close and we can be here and deal with, deal with the situation. So, we didn't prosecute the others, but uh, her we did prosecute because she was getting pretty out of hand, you know, breaking down doors and things. Uh, so she's, uh, hopefully she's out of uh, our hair. 
And so now I'll show you where we're at inside here. You can see how we've got things cleaned up. Got my little area here where you know how I usually set up uh, with my little microwave and stuff like that. Now, I'm not getting too carried away here because uh, we're just working here to get things cleaned up and uh, get electrical certification done. And uh, then we're going to take some time off. But uh, so these uh, two bathrooms in this home. And if you missed the uh, walkthrough of it, you know, before we got started, I'll put a link to that down in the description. But you know, these bathrooms are just horrible. Uh, this woman was uh, using these using the bathroom with no water, so there was the, all the utilities had been shut off, and she was in here. So you can just imagine what it was. Okay, so this bedroom is the front bedroom. This has kind of a nice bow window. Uh, I think we're going to be taking this out and do something more modern. Uh, what they've done back here, unfortunately there's no light in this room, but they've removed the closet. So there was a closet in here. You can see where it's been taken out. Uh, we're going to be putting that closet back in, turning this back into a bedroom. So again, this is a, this is a split plan. And uh, this is very similar to the to the one that we just did, um, and uh, but it's a little bit older version of it. This is a 1984. That was a 1991. And so here we're in the foyer. Uh, this is the front door closet here. And again, this is what they call this split plan, uh, which means uh, you've got a bedroom, you got a bedroom and a bathroom in the front of the home and likewise in the back uh, and then in between is your uh, living room uh, kitchen and dining room so this is the living room that i'm standing in right now so last time i had you in here we had no lights we had no heat we had uh, nothing and so so we got that all fired up again now and we're we don't actually own this home yet uh, so we started out we were going to take possession of it the first of september uh, no, sorry, it's 1st of October, 1st of October, and then there was a delay in some of the paperwork, and so then we shifted it to the 1st of November, and then we discovered that uh, we couldn't convey it without a, a proper electrical certification. Uh, we kind of knew that going into it, but uh, what we've done in the past is we take care of all of that when we do the renovation, but things have changed, and now we have to have that done before they'll convey it. So. Uh, I'm going to have another video uh, after this one. The next video is going to kind of explain that whole electrical certification and, and what, what it's involved and how it applies to us, you know, here in British Columbia. So this home is uh, drywall on the inside. It's a VIPSUM. Uh, we've discovered that and it's got drywall ceilings, which is nice. Uh, all these battens are going to come off of there. Of course, we're going to scrape this down. Um, it's got a skylight, which I like. Nice big kitchen window there. So basically, you know, the kitchen cabinets went around like this. The kitchen cabinets were all gone by the time we got here. So we're probably gonna do a peninsula here again, the same as we did in that last one. Um, over here is where the fridge sits and another uh, little cabinets. This little room over here is a really nice little feature here. So right off the kitchen here, we've got a, uh, a laundry room. Yeah, actual physical laundry room and so instead of having the machines jammed in the hallway somewhere we actually have a space for them here uh, so the washer and dryer will sit here and then we have on this side you know a place where you could uh, you know I'm thinking we're going to build a pantry here uh, or you could put cabinets you know a counter for folding you know there's, there's several things that can be done with that uh, you can just see the filth here. It's just, just a mess. Uh, there's dryer lint in here. The dryer was not connected to anything. It was just blowing lint behind the dryer. So that's the hole there for the dryer vent. But it, was, it wasn't connected to anything. So this uh, opening into the addition here is the originally was the uh, dining room window, the dining nook window. And so, you know, it would have come across here, the wall would have been underneath there, and then that would have been the window there. So when they did this little addition in the sun porch here, they blew out the bottom of the wall to make it, make it go into that uh, dining room, or into that sunroom. And so we are gonna be putting that wall back, and we're gonna put a, uh, 
uh, window in here. Um, this, so getting back to this addition, you can see here the floor is wet. So this roof is leaking. Um, so everything here is just, you know, it's moldy and it's rotten. Uh, you know, when you come in the house, you can smell mold and this is where it's coming from. Okay, and then there's a, this is still in the addition here, but you can see how the ceiling, you know, the ceiling just follows, uh, the, you know, the, the roof outside. So it's a very low pitch, uh, no ventilation in that whatsoever. You know, there's just insulation up in there. So there's mold up in there because it hasn't got proper ventilation. Now the floor is not so bad in here, but um, you know, this is not a, uh, not a real efficient use of space. And it, this is beyond saving. It's just so rotten and so moldy that we can't, you know, the main structure is good. Um, you know, it's got the tin roof and it's got the tin siding. So, you know, that is kind of the saving grace of this. Uh, an older home like this is, uh, it, you know, that tin really protects the structure and it has protected it very well here. So this originally was the back door. Um, and then this was like the hallway going through to the, uh, back to the master, master bedroom. Okay, so here we have the furnace. And that's the original furnace from 1984, old intertherm furnace and that thing, it took a little while to get it going. Um, it uh, hasn't run in a couple of years. Um, a couple of years ago, the, the uh, so whoever was in charge of this place quit paying the bill and so the gas was shut off and uh, locked and so there's been no gas service in this home for a couple of uh, years uh, I've got it going again now so we have the, the furnace going uh, something interesting here was uh, they have a hot water tank here that is gas okay all this equipment's going to be going we just like we always do we're going to put all new equipment in here uh, it was originally electric, um, but they had to, uh, they needed a couple circuits for all the extra stuff that they did here, and I'll explain that in the next video, but uh, this was converted from gas, from electric to gas, and so there's advantages and disadvantages to that, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about that down the road. But uh, yeah, this, uh, I know a lot of you are going to say, well, you know, this, it's nice rooms, nice square footage here. You should keep it. And uh, yeah, it would be great if it was done properly. But like I say, you know, we've got that bank pushing down on it. So it's all rotten along the outside there. You know, it's basically a, a rebuild. Like it's just beyond saving. And uh, in our market, uh, you know, we don't really need to sp spend the money on this kind of uh, square footage um, you know without this the original the home will be uh, 924 it's a 14 by 66 and uh, you know so you know it's easily gonna sell when we're done it'll easy sell for you know 240 250 no problem uh, to put the addition back uh, it's just you know the expense uh, of it from a foot point of view it just doesn't make sense so this was uh, part of the, they made this as part of the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom over here. And so this was kind of like a little sitting area or something for the master bedroom. And then they had more closet space built here. Then they had this uh, uh, garden door going out to the back where those uh, patio stones are. The old patio was back here. So kind of neat. Um, you know, if it was all in good shape, we'd certainly keep it, but since it's so moldy and so rotten, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of it. And so what they did to make this opening to come from the uh, original mobile home into the, the addition is they removed the back door and uh, to make this make this opening here. So this fixture that you see here, this is actually the original back door fixture on the outside of the home. And that plug down there is a uh, was the original outside plug for the side of the home. So what they did was they took that metal siding off and uh, you know, then drywalled it here. here. Here in the sunroom, they they left the metal siding. So you can see here, this is the original metal siding here. Okay, so this is the master bedroom. 
All right, and this is all original in here. There's the original window. Of course, we'll be putting new windows in. You know, new side, new roof, new everything. Uh, over here, we have a walk-in closet, such as it is. So this is a kind of a neat little feature. Kind of a limited amount of space, but we'll do something nice with some shelves in here. It's got a heat register in here. So this home has uh, central uh, central heating and old central air conditioning system as well. This is the ensuite bath. All right, so back here, you've got a tub shower combo, fiberglass, bone color. So that's coming out. We'll be putting, putting something new and modern in there. And then we have uh, the toilet is here and then the vanity is over here on this side. So we'll be uh, redoing this. Now this, this room here, so back a couple years ago when this, the uh, gas bill quit being paid, um, they shut the gas off and that was actually, I don't know, in December. It was about two years ago now. And uh, it got cold in here. The water was still turned on because uh, you know people weren't taking care of business here uh, the hydro has always been on but it was disconnected in the uh, meter shed by the park because of these vagrants that were hanging around here they were trying to run electric heaters and things in here but uh, what happened was when that cold spell hit this toilet tank it, it uh, froze and it blew the back of the tank out um, and then uh, what that happened then was then you know as it when it thawed out the water started to run and it ran and all this damage you see in here is caused from that toilet tank that you know, cracked and blew out the back. So the water ran out of the uh, of the uh, ensuite bath there and you can see uh, where these stains are that this is you know, where the water ran out and it actually ran out okay and it ran over the edge and then down underneath the home between here somewhere and actually uh, it was discovered the water was running out of uh, an electrical conduit about a four or five uh, homes down from here and they traced it back to here that's how they discovered because you know the place was empty and vacant but this is all just stained so you know people talk about particle board uh, these these floors are particle board, but again, this is a uh, you know it's an industrial grade uh, particle board. It's it's not like the stuff you buy at Home Depot. Uh, you know this was uh, this is a product that was designed for these floors, and it takes a lot. It takes an amazing amount of of uh, you know abuse. Um, so here, you know, this was really wet, but this floor is not is not warped here at all, uh, and it's solid. You know, I can stand on this. It's solid. Uh, we get over here, right here we have a bit of uh, wonky stuff going on where it's warped, but again it's, you know, it's solid. Uh, so it hasn't buckled, uh, you know, it's drying out now, we've got uh, the furnace going here, we've got a fan circulating some air, and you know, it's settling right back down. Um, you know, this uh, isn't even going to require a lot of replacement, uh, just basically some floor leveling uh compound and some sanding and you know we're going to be good to go so you know say what you will about osb board and particle board and all that you know here's one here that got really wet i mean it was this was really wet it has been wet for a long time when we pulled up the uh flooring here there was still there was still water underneath of it and uh, you know after two years so that's how wet it was in here so this is a mess. Uh, you can see here. This is just a just a real mess. Uh, so what they did. This is this is actually the dryer vent here. It was supposed to be a connection from there to there, and it's not. Uh, this here is actually a uh, combustion air for the hot water tank. So when they installed this gas water tank, they uh, had to put in a uh, combustion air. So what's nice about this one is we have some room to actually put a proper furnace back in. So this furnace will, this one will be getting a high efficiency furnace, unlike the other ones that we've done, where we only can put in 80s and 80% uh, efficient, and that's because of uh, uh, you know this, this, the size limitations. But here we have uh, here we have room, which is which is nice. 
so between the hot water tank and uh, in the furnace it's going to have a very high efficiency uh, appliances all right folks so uh, working on the electrical certification now and uh, I'm gonna gonna do another video on that so that'll be the next video just kind of explain to you about all that but there we are I wanted to show it to you kind of after you know after we got things cleaned up here and see what it looked like and when it's cleaned up and uh, yeah I thought you'd like to see that so uh, I'm gonna start a new playlist for uh, this project and so I'll put a link to that down in the description as well so uh, if you haven't subscribed uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, that notification bell and uh, then as we uh, update videos on this project you will uh, you'll see what we're going to do here and you'll get not get notified you won't miss any you won't miss any of the action all right folks thanks for watching see you next time bye bye